Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Claudia and today we're gonna have a very fun video. Because I came up with this idea. I figured I would grab all my fragrances from Perfumes de Marly, the feminine line, um, and grab all 10 of them and uh, the, tell you the top three notes that stand out the most to me. And then describe based on that, their personality to my head. So based on the notes that stand out to me the personality that comes into my head of each fragrance is what i'm going to be sharing with you today so let's see first we're going to start with the start of the show as usual and that's going to be delina uh, delina i described her as young and popular because of her musky rosy and powdery notes that stand out throughout the entire wear of this fragrance um, I really, really enjoyed this fragrance. However, uh, it's not a very good fragrance for uh, the hotter days. So I have to really kind of um, wear it when it's a little bit colder out there. And um, the second best known, in my opinion, or best talked about is her older sister, Delina Exclusive. I described her as sophisticated Delina because she is like Delina, you know, rosy, powdery, and a little bit woody. Uh, this older, slightly older, mature, um, a little bit more sophisticated than Delina, the original. Uh, and then I have uh, Delina La Rose, which is also rosy, very aquatic, and floral, and very tropical. I described her as uh, the young and happy sister of the Linas. The younger, happier Delina. And then we have with us Cassili. Cassili is a beautiful floral sweet sour fragrance that I described as subtle but playful. And that's what it comes out to me. It's very subtle, but it's very playful. It is definitely not boring. It's very, very adorable. I love wearing it. And that is a great fragrance for spring and summer. So you got a lot of things going on over there. So next we have Oriana, which this fragrance really comes out to me as uh, something very young and very happy because of the sweet floral and powdery, almost like, um, like a raspberry and vanilla ice cream sort of thing. It is a beautiful uh, fragrance. However, it's it's kind of in the sweet side. So you have to really kind of be in the mood of something like that because uh, it's it doesn't always, you know, it's not always suitable for your, your moods. You know what I mean? And then we have my first love from Delina, Meliora. Meliora described that as a wealthy beach babe which is not what I describe myself whatsoever. I just love the scent and I wear it because I love how fruity, fresh and sweet it is. And so she is the wealthy beach babe. And then we have Safanad. Safanad was, I think, my second acquisition from Perfume de Merlin. And I described her personality as discreet and sensual because of her sweet vanilla and powdery accords. And she really is discreet. You have to kind of, uh, this, this, this perfume wears a little bit closer to your skin. So if you don't really want to be loud, this is, would be perfect for the office because you don't, you know, you're not too loud that people are going to be getting a headache or anything. Yeah, you, you can, you know, people can smell you if they get close enough to you. And then we have Sid Beauty. Sid Beauty is what I describe the sexy businesswoman. Because of her uh, floral, vanilla, and spicy accords, she is perfectly the perfect description in a bottle of a uh, woman who is sexy yet, um, you know, she is like a boss lady. Uh, she's very sexy, sexy, very feminine, yet she doesn't lose that. Um, you know, the boss lady status on that, and she's able to retain it with this. And then we have Darcy. Darcy is a beautiful but not safe blind by uh, fragrance. And I describe that as a fun 
mysterious because of its citrusy, spicy, and earthy accords. Now, if you really are into patchouli, you are really going to like this fragrance. I'm sorry for the fingerprints. I've been touching it all over. And then last but absolutely not least, we have Atalia. Atalia is what I describe elegant and confident because this is what I see not just by looking at the bottle, but the fragrance itself because of its powdery, ambery, and sweet accords. It's just a beautiful blend. This is absolutely delicious. You would probably... Okay, so if you like saffanade, you would probably really like this fragrance because it is really kind of like um, the same vibe, you know, not the same notes or anything. It doesn't smell the same, but it's, it's around the same vibes that I get from her. And these were all the ones that I, I think uh, Perfume de Marly has released on the women's uh, line. And as they come out, I will update my collection personality <laughs> and see what else I can do. I, I'm thinking about doing videos about other lines. I have the, uh, the entire line of uh, the House of Siage, both Whispers in the Garden and uh, uh, their signature line. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do the same with those. I just have to really wear them again or sniff them again and kind of get a feel for them to see uh, what I get in my head about the fragrances. I don't know if that happens to you. If that happens to you that when you smell a fragrance, you automatically um, uh, adopt a, personal, a personality with the fragrance and not so much yourself, but you, you kind of get a vibe on the fragrance and so, you know, I feel like this fragrance will be for a certain type of people. Let me know on the comments. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and please like, share and comment. That would help me a ton. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.